Oh my god, did I just forget a whole box of stuff? Hey guys, it's me again. I hope you're all well. Welcome back to my channel. As you can tell by the title and as you can see here, I will be filming a uni haul video basically sharing with you everything I will be taking to uni, things that I've got, things that I already had, sharing with you what I think I will need at uni. Hopefully I will be filming in the next one or two months as well, maybe a part two to this, what I ended up actually needing and actually using from all of the stuff that I will be taking. But before we get started, you guys know the drill, don't forget to smash that subscribe button down below to see me weekly. Anyways guys, let's just jump right in. So. You guys know I am going to the University of Warwick. Here is some pictures of the accommodation I have been given. I chose Arthur Vic as my number one choice. That's what I got. It is thankfully an ensuite. And if you guys know anything about Warwick's accommodation and the way they allocate accommodation, you know how difficult it is or like how random it is really. So I'm so, so lucky that I got my first choice which was Arthur Vic, and I really, really like it. Just so you have some perspective of what everything will be in my room and that. So, starting off with bedding. As you can see in this picture here, I have got a single bed, but quite clearly my bed's not single. But in my old house, I did used to have a single bed and I used to have like a double duvet anyway. So, um, it's downstairs now, but I will be using that and just a random sort of like duvet cover thing. My accommodation is actually giving like a mattress protector, a duvet, a duvet cover, pillows, pillow covers, but I don't really want to use that because like they could be from old students, I don't know where it's been, all of that, especially in Corona. I'm going to just bring all of my own stuff, so that's why I'm bringing my own duvet. And I don't really care too much about the whole, the duvet cover because I ended up getting a mink faux fur throw. I think it's double and it's just really, really nice. I don't know if you can see it on camera, how lovely it is. But I got this yesterday and it's so, so, so soft. I really, really like it. So I don't really care about my duvet cover because this is gonna go on top anyway. So I didn't really need to buy one. We already had one. So save money in that aspect. And this throw was I think 12 pounds, which was really, really good because I think originally it was like 40. But we got this from like a little shop in my local town center. It was like a family owned shop. So things are actually cheaper in like those sorts of shops as compared to outside. So I was really happy that I got that. From the same shop, I actually got these two massive pillows. And they're obviously really nice and soft. As you can see, it was on sale for £6 for both the pillows and they actually have pillow covers on them already. They were originally £30 and they ended up being £6, so I was so happy. And as a student as well, as an Indian, you know, we love our good old bargain, so I was so happy that we got that. And they are quite plain, so, and I quite like colourful, sort of bright sort of things. So we do have some pillow covers. I think my mum found some corduroy ones in the house from like our old house and I really like them. They were brown corduroy. When I move in, I will obviously do a, a moving vlog so you will see it then, but that's basically it. I will be taking some nice sort of cute cushiony pillow sort of things as well that I have in my room lying about, like that heart one over there that you've probably seen in previous videos if you can't see right now. Also, I will be taking a blanket because I don't know how cold my accommodation will get. This one, this is actually from when I was a baby. So I'm not gonna unfold it fully, but it's just like really cute when I was a baby. It is single, so it is like just one of those things if I'm sitting in bed and I wanna snuggle up to something, I can snuggle up to that. Although now I do have my mink faux throw as well, but I'd rather just use this one because I don't know, I just thought it was really cute. So yeah, I'm gonna be using that as well. Obviously a bed sheet, pretty freshy if you ask me. But you know, standard old bed sheet, don't, don't really need anything special. I already had that as well. I actually, I'm pretty sure this is from India, actually. My grandma actually got this when she came a few years ago. So as you can see, I already had quite a lot of things lying around. So I saved money in a lot of aspects. My mum is so cute. She actually packed uh, this um, in, I think this is probably going to be my medicine box, um, that's what she decided to make it, which is great. I've just got some like sanitary products, some Paris EMR pa Panadol, hay fever and allergy relief because I have allergies. I think I've mentioned this so many times. 
I get really bad allergies and ironically I'm actually allergic to dogs as well so yeah I've just got them and then I've got like a mini first aid kit as well just a standard mini first aid kit with your standard plasters bandage that's it really the next thing I got was an over the door hooks just little heart shaped little things to put on the back of my door for my coats because obviously uni rooms are so small you want to maximize the space you've already got as you can see it was only three pound which was a bargain I was really really happy about that um, and I actually just happened to find this when I was in town the other day with my mum because on Amazon I was looking and they were like £8 but I got it for £3 from town so I was really happy I found that because I needed that as well. I also heard that it's really important for uni students to have these radiator area thingies so when you wash your clothes just put them on your radiator and it just airs out your laundry so it comes out like a few layers which is really good because your the other ones that I saw were just like one and then you like put it on I don't know how to explain it but like just like standard ones but this one comes out with a few layers so I was really happy about that. I actually don't know how much this was I believe it was like four pound I can't lie I think it was only four pound so that was also a great bargain as you can tell I'm so happy about the bargains the next thing I got was a shoe rack this is just two tiered so you can have your shoes on those as you can see it was only seven pound so this was pretty good it's really heavy but obviously I haven't assembled it yet I'll assemble it when I get to uni so only then we'll see how good it really is but for now it's looking pretty good and trustworthy now moving on to stationery this isn't the majority of stationery i believe like i've got like other stuff like pencil cases general stuff like that that i will also take um but they're just kind of like lying around around the house for now but the ma not majority i think the main stuff i've got are in this thingy here so this container it was already in my house so we're just going to take that i nicked this from my dad's office <laughs> Um, he did let me obviously, um, but this is his nice pen stand. It's really just basic really um, Some sticky notes to put like label not sticky notes labels basically sticky labels to put on stuff These weird things that you see and I also in my room. I have a pin board above my bed So I've just got just basic pins for my pin board and I've got some like ink pens with some refills as well um these pens are just from India. These are what were lying around in my house, honestly. But then I also got some highlighters, pastel colours. They were the only pastel coloured ones that I could find at first. And these were from Home Bargains. But then I ended up going to Wilkinson and finding some more. And these were like a pound as well. So I was super happy. And then I also got some more basic highlighters from Wilkinson. I thought these were really cool because I've never really seen like these these type with this shape. I've, already, I've only ever seen the standard highlighters. So I thought these look pretty cool. Let me try these out. Um, then I got like a pack of pencils and a pack of fine liners as well. Um, as you can tell, I love stationery, but who doesn't love stationery? And also, if you know me, you will know how much I love off my whiteboard. Where is it? Oh, it's right here. In most of my revision videos, you will have seen this whiteboard. I've used it so much that my dog's actually got his paw marks, like his nail marks, because he, he's jumped on it and he's dented it. So I've just had my whiteboard and my whiteboard pens, but this is kind. these are like kind of running out. So I thought I'd have two. So I went to Wilkinson and I got this massive one and it was only four pounds. You get like two magnets and a pen at the top and I can hang this on my pin board at the back. And I just thought that was so amazing. For £4 as well, that's huge. Can you see? That's massive. And so I was so happy about that. Because I use whiteboards quite a lot. Like, I don't know how I'm going to be revising for uni just yet. Just because I don't know the content. And I figure out my, like, what's best for me in terms of revision. Once I will see the content and start my actual lectures and stuff. But as you guys know, for my A-levels, I did use my whiteboard. But also for my online tuition, because I do do tuitions as well. I always use my whiteboard and they are so useful. My students learn really well with my whiteboard. So that's why I needed two whiteboards kind of. So one for reminders, like events, activities that are gonna happen, like a calendar sort of thing. Cause I couldn't find a calendar anywhere. But then the other one for revision, like taking, like, you know, revising content and my tuitions as well. So that's why I needed two. And so just to go with my new whiteboard, I also got these really, really awesome whiteboard pens. 
and they're just in so many cool colors and i just thought it was amazing so i had that as well got some more pens from wilkinson as well then i got some blue tack post-it notes sellotape and a hole punch all from my dad's office i didn't have to buy these which was great i just took it from my dad's office and he did let me but you know I, just, I took a lot of stuff from my dad's office which is really useful because stationery can really be quite expensive and yeah so i had that all my stationery was pretty much from wilkinson wilkinson has pretty good stationery so in terms of like decoration and stuff basically from the start of lockdown my family and i have been obsessed with gardening and we'd like go out and get so many plants every time we go we basically go out we'll get a plant or a new planter or something like that and so have my uncle and auntie they've been obsessed with gardening as well and so like we were just like talking like one time i say two months ago one month ago when they came over to ours and they were just like hey like look at succulents they're so cool and i was like that is so beautiful i want to take one to uni so like the past two weeks i was taking my mum to literally every garden center in nottingham and i was like let's go get a succulent because like I really wanted to take one to uni so I ended up getting these two really really pretty ones right I just think they're so beautiful this one is called baby blue I haven't got a name for this one yet I was thinking violet but that's just so bog standard right so yeah but I just think it's so beautiful and also apparently they absorb moisture so you know uni rooms are so small and when you wash your clothes and dry them on the dryer not dryer on the radiator with the drying rack I showed you it's gonna get really stuffy especially when there's a shower in there so these will probably be pretty nice for that I also got some basic hangers like non-slip hangers I think these were from Bean and Bargain for three pound just eight of them they're velvet nice as well and they're pretty sturdy as well because what i found with hangers they break so easily so i got some sturdy ones the next thing i knew i was going to need at uni was a table lamp because i don't think that my accommodation provides a table lamp so i was like need to get one it's basically just a twistable sort of table lamp this one was 20 pounds or 25 pounds i'm not 100 percent sure but it's off amazon if you just type table lamp in you'll get that in here is a lot more stationary kind of stuff so i've got just this little new pack which has like tabs and then your notebook and like dividers as well and some plastic wallet type things with the dividers all of that stuff i think this was six pounds i'm not 100 percent sure either but yeah i got that and then i also had these and um, they were from home bargain as well basically just notebooks notepads stuff like that and i already have a lot of this type of stuff at home already obviously students will have that from like school and that and my parents did as well so i'm just going to probably take some of those type of things and i know that a lot of your lectures especially in like corona the corona batch we're gonna have a lot of our lectures and stuff online and a lot of our revision stuff online taking notes like that but i'm someone i'm pretty old school i don't really like using tech for my revision and stuff like that i'm i prefer handwritten stuff like the same thing with books i prefer books that are physical rather than like a kindle stuff like that for my makeup and stuff i already had some sort of makeup assortments but these i think are my mum's for like makeup makeup holders and then i don't even know why like my family and i packed all of my utensils i'll be taking like a month before i'm leaving so i just have like what's wrapped up is the knife wooden spoon spatulas this is wrapped up but it's basically a knife i also have some bowls that my mum's given me just basic like bowls it just says hello and then i've got my pan this is like we already had this and we already had these as well bin liners you need them and just some mugs i just like two basic mugs nest cafe one that i got when we went to florida i think like 10 years ago now but yeah some basic mugs a travel mug i don't even what's this called i don't know them container thingies and then just a pan i have a lot of containers that my parents have given me and also some ice trays this is a cute one this is like a mickey mouse one i also got that when we went to florida one time and just the basic one another pan to perhaps cook some pasta for Ow. this is my favorite tray because this is my spice tray i have an awful lot of spices i am indian born and bred so i have a lot of masala type food these are just basically straws but besides that i have an awful 
lot of spices, right? And my dad was so cute, he printed off little labels offline just to put on the top of my spices. I have chili powder, coriander powder, salt, black rock salt, mustard seeds, arm tree powder, mango sort of powder, cumin seeds, more chili powder, turmeric. One eternity later. Garlic granules, um, onion granules, and what's that? Ore oregano. Chaat masala for like snacks. What's that? Garam masala. So, if you're curry powder as well, so have an awful lot of spices so my food is gonna be delish when I go to uni I'm not gonna be having boring pasta every day so I'm happy about that so since we moved on to the kitchen section I just went downstairs to pick up a couple of more things that I actually got yesterday these were all from B&M Bargain so the first one is a massive mug that is just a friend's mug I thought it was really nice but it can also be like a cereal bowl, a food bowl, a drink bowl it's so versatile so I really like that it was £4 though so yeah and then I got these mugs as well like basically those microwavable mugs that you put the lid on you can take it like a travel type of mug as well that one is a hug in a mug and that one just says enjoy they're both super cute but basically my mum is like pretty OCD about what I drink with and what I eat with so like she doesn't like me like drink or microwave stuff in plastic so I can't have plastic water bottles have to drink from either glass or metal or like I can't warm stuff in the microwave if they're plastic they have to be like ceramic or glass just because apparently they like give out cancerous sort of stuff so my mum just says you're gonna have to take a ceramic one or a glass one so we found these and she was so happy and then this was from TK Maxx this was I think five pound these both were I think two pound or three pound so that was good and this one says it was five pound but this was from TK Maxx it's the same sort of concept like a plastic lid to like cover the food with but then a glass thing to microwave it in the microwave type of thing so in terms of kitchen that's the majority of stuff that I brought for my kitchen a lot of the other stuff I'm not going to show because it's kind of boring like plates and dishes pots and pans like them type of stuff which is low-key really boring but then what we did find and uh, this was from a thrift store and I really liked it and it was just a, like mirror ah basically it's this really pretty mirror right and like you can just stand it up so for like makeup and stuff I'm just gonna stand this on my desk um, and it's just so pretty. Do you not think that it's just so pretty? Like, wow, I really like that. And I think this was like four pounds, which is amazing. Look how nice. For that, it was four pounds, which is why I definitely recommend thrift stores. Thrift stores are amazing. My cousins actually got me some stuff. And my older cousins have all been like through uni and all that. So they all got me stuff that they thought I would need. And you know, my cousin, she didn't even know that I was obsessed with succulents. And she got me three fake succulent plants, right? And they're so cute. And she she had no idea I was obsessed with succulents. And she, do, she still got them. They're fake, which is good because I don't have to look after them that much. But then... I also have got my real ones now, so like, I'm gonna have to look after them anyway. But that will just be pretty cute. She also got me this, which I really loved. I have, my dad got me one as well, but the pegs are wooden, so I'll take that as well. But she got me, you know those little things that you clip? You clip and put your pictures on them, and it's this LED light that you can put around your room. You know like how I have on the back of my bed? It's not on right now, but the back of my bed, those LED like fairy lights. It's the same thing and the clips light up as well. So I'm gonna put that probably above my desk because I have like shelves on top of my shelf and that will be so pretty. Then they finally got me two bottles of pink gin lemonade because apparently you can't go to uni without taking any alk. So I had to get two little bottles of alky. I have never actually tried them, so we'll see how it is. But they said that I can't open this until I start uni. So I'm going to wait till I start uni to actually open these up. Then I just have this bag. It's like a little tote bag. It's Michael Kors one that I'm going to take for like, if I have to, if eventually we are lucky enough to actually go to our lectures in person, I'll probably just take this to put my laptop in and like stuff like that as like a little bag. But other than that, I am also taking my backpack and probably my other 
bag or something just because it's quite small but the good thing is if I forget anything or like if I want to like come back and change my set of clothes for like winter or spring whatever then I can come home because I only live like an hour or an hour and a half maximum with peak traffic away from my uni so I'm going uni of Warwick but I live in Nottingham which is like not that far at all before I forget about this box basically my mum got me this cute but cringy pencil case from Tesco it says girl power a mattress protector for my bed um some cute frilly socks frilly fluffy socks fluffy socks when it gets cold at night revision cards but low-key I think my mum just wanted them for her stuff but I'm gonna nick them as well finally found a 2021 calendar which will be super useful because I like organizing stuff on paper like I told you not a tech person some scrunchies I've got some more scrunchies I've just got like my standard sliders just your basic sliders really that I've been wearing for the past two years relentlessly but um yeah so I might get some like other these are really dirty actually so I might actually get some other slippers um for the house but it's not really that deep i think these will do the job anyway like for my room and going to the kitchen and stuff like that these will be fine cling film cling wrap cling film cling wrap kitchen foil cling film and some scrubbers and stuff just some basic cleaning products and now now my friends the video is complete because i've got everything in the room <laughs> that is basically the end of this video i really hope you enjoyed this as much as i did to film it i was really excited to film this video it's going to be an awfully massive nightmare packing everything back up <sighs> but yeah it's probably going to take me the rest of the night to put this all away nicely but the next uni video that you guys will see will be me moving in and you will get to see my room before i put all of my stuff in and after it's all nicely done so i can't wait for you guys to see that one if you've got any suggestions of what you would like to see next be sure to leave a comment in the section down below and make sure you subscribe and leave a huge thumbs up i will see you in next week's video bye